What's up everyone, Anwar thinks back once again and today I'm going to run through all of the thoughts that are racing around my brain at the moment as soon as this show got confirmed. This first UK wrestling stadium show since SummerSlam 1992. Oh, I have been buzzing. There's been rumours for about a year now, strong rumours that it was going to happen. And then it died off a little bit and then it came back a little bit and died off again and I thought, will it happen, won't it happen? They were proper teasing us with it, but it feels like just all my Christmases have come at once. I'm a massive wrestling fan. The peak of my wrestling fandom happened when I was a child until this confirmation came today. And now we've got this confirmation, I, I just cannot wait. I, I can't explain to you what this means to me. This is a once in a generation type thing. The last time this happened was SummerSlam 1992. Now I was born then, but I wasn't a wrestling fan then. I wasn't aware of it then. But the SummerSlam 1992 has really molded basically my entire life. Because I've been a wrestling fan my entire life. And SummerSlam 1992 is massively key to that. I remember as a kid, um, I've got a cousin who lives in Manchester. And he's, he's 15, not 15, he's 11 years older than me. I remember being at his house as a kid and they had SummerSlam 1992 on tape that they taped off the TV. This wasn't just a one-off stadium show. This was a starting point, a jumping in point for an entire nation of wrestling fans, for an entire generation of kids to get into it. Even me, who wasn't watching wrestling at the time, not really old enough to understand what was going on. That tape was still lingering in those next few years, those few years when I started to become a fan. And it, that means so much to me, the fact that we're going to get that now. We're going to get to go and I'm going to get to relive that. I cannot wait to go there and mark out in Wales for an entire week. I never would have thought I'd say that. I'm looking forward to the most going to Wales. So there's a peek behind the curtain. This year, I'm planning on going to Barbados. I'm planning on going to New Zealand and Australia. And I'll be honest with you right now, I am looking forward to going to Wales more because this show, it means so much. It means just an incredible, incredible amount. I think this may lead to a UK wrestling boom. Now, I don't know if that means indie wrestling specifically, but I think uh, the, the UK's wrestling fan base is going to be absolutely boosted by this. Much like it was in 1992. A lot of the old, old time wrestling fans talk about Bret Hart. And they talk about how he was huge in Europe and they're not really too sure why when business was on the decline in the US, in Europe it was bigger than ever. It's because of SummerSlam 1992. Think about it. He headlined versus the British Bulldog, the biggest British wrestling star in the history of British wrestling. You can talk about your big daddies and all that all you want. The British Bulldog, he's the man. He's the biggest. He works in the WWE. He headlined this show. Intercontinental Champion, Tag Team Champion. He did so, so much. And he was... A hero to, to literally millions of kids, not just in the UK, but in America as well, and, and obviously Canada and all around the world. Bret Hart headlined this show with the British Bulldog, and just European fans loved him forever. They, they absolutely loved him going forward. So when all the American ones are scratching their head, wow, why is he such a, a huge star in Europe? That's why. And I think this show will have a similar knock on effects. Will it appear on free TV? I think WWE are missing a trick if they don't put it on free TV. They should absolutely do that. It's going to ruin a lot of deals that they got at the moment. Maybe don't call this a network special or anything like that. I'm very interested to see what they call this show. Obviously, SummerSlam is usually in August. This is September the 3rd. Quite close to the weekend that SummerSlam usually would be where they move SummerSlam to July. I think it's going to be in Nashville or something like that. I think they missed a the trick there. They should have made this SummerSlam. But they move SummerSlam. What would this be? Will it be like a crown jewel type event? I'm hoping it's bigger than that. Selfishly. I want this to be a marquee event that lasts forever. Of course, you can kind of say crown jewel is like that, but what for the best and fan purists like me, I see crown jewel as like a glorified house show where they just pull out all the stops. I want this to feel real. I want it to feel like they're building storylines to this, much like SummerSlam 1992. Another massive thing, like I am buzzing for this. I am absolutely buzzing for this. And this video, I planned on doing it edited and all that stuff. I don't know how much I'm going to edit this. 
I might just give it to you real. I might put a nice little fancy backdrop on. But just you'll have my ramblings. I think like that's what I'm gonna do. A massive part of this is the fact that this comes right at the end of the kids six week holidays and it's a Saturday night too so it's not just a Sunday night it's a Saturday night at the end of the kids six week holidays can you imagine being a kid right now can you imagine that how excited they're gonna be in that build up when when mum and dad say hey we got tickets and all six week holidays you build to this it's gonna be the blow off of the summer for all the like five to probably even 15 you everyone everyone but especially those kids that are school age, kids 5 to 16, 5 to 18, whatever. 5 to 21, those uni students. Oh man, I would have loved this when I was at uni. Absolutely loved it. What do we know so far? Obviously, I've talked about the SummerSlam thing. It's been moved before. The next pay-per-view is Extreme Rules. So what are they going to call this? What's, what's that middle ground going to be? I'm not too sure. I hope it's going to be something that, that stays in the calendar. Maybe even a King of the Ring where they just do the final on the night. It's not a tournament style thing. Maybe maybe that'll be good. I'm not too sure. What else do we know? The stadium's got a roof. That's a big thing. Because Wales has got terrible weather. It's in the UK. Of course it's got terrible weather. But that, the stadium's got a roof. So it covers us. It covers us. And listen, I am 100% planning on being there. I'm, I'm planning on being there all week. I'm going to be there as much as wrestling's going to be on there. I will stay. If you put wrestling on for five years in a row, I'll stay after this weekend. I'll move to Wales. I'll pack up my job. I'll do everything. I'll move right there right now. Sorry, mum with that. I'm going. I'm moving to Wales, apparently, for the wrestling. But you know what I'm saying? Another big part of this is Drew McIntyre. He's, he's been all over the place talking about this in the media, in the build-up. I, I want to bring a show to, to the UK, basically. And he's doing it. He's bringing it to Wales, obviously not Scotland, uh, Wembley would have been better, but uh, this will do, I mean, wherever it is, I'm going. But I expect Drew McIntyre to be the British Bulldog of this generation now. I think he, he's had a good career so far, he's had a great run, he's had a much better run than British Bulldog, really, if you look at his actual achievements in terms of belts and stuff like that. But what he doesn't have is this marquee event on his name. Sure, you have WrestleManias and stuff like that, but if he main events this show, and if they put him over Roman Reigns in the main event, even if they just go IC title and make the IC title really mean something in the build-up to it, and have McIntyre win it here, oh, he'll become next level. He'll become just like a mega, mega, mega star. On a personal level, what does this mean to me? I've been talking on my YouTube channel for years how I want WrestleMania in the UK. I want it at Wembley. I think they should do it, and I think they could get away with it, especially with the network model and the Peacock model and stuff like that. Now you moved away from Pivot, you don't have to worry about people buying it. They're already paying the subscription fee. You've got them in the door already. Give them an earlier short. It lasts 100 hours anyway. Let them start it off earlier on in the day. The fact that this is coming now. I've been to WrestleMania. I've been to, what, four WrestleManias? This means more than probably all of them put together. It means that much. It's, it's everything that I want. What do I want them to do? I want them to do an Access. I want them to do an NXT show. I want them to bring Raw there. I want them to bring SmackDown there. I want to be there all week watching as much wrestling as possible. I hope there's, I bet there's tons right now of British wrestling promotions trying to book venues in Cardiff for that week, the night before, the night after. They will be scrambling to get that done. And I can't wait. I will be a willing participant in giving them my money and going. But the access thing is massive for me. I've got the WWE winged ego bell that I want signing by as many people as possible. WWE bring over a star cast. Well, excuse the pun. Of wrestlers. Guys like Bret Hart. Well, I've already met Bret. I love Bret. Guys like Ric Flair. I need him to sign that belt. I need him to sign both my WCW belt as well. I've also got the encyclopedia that I showed on my channel as well. I want people to sign that. I'd love to go to an access and get these done by other people. Another interesting thing is, if you're thinking of going to this and you're planning on getting public transport, i got a bit of bad news for you. You're going to need to get an hotel that night. My mate Rick, uh, you would have seen him in my channel, he went to WrestleMania 30 with me. Uh, him mate since we were kids. We're Arsenal fans. And I remember he went to a game at the, at the Millennium Stadium it was called. And that's the same stadium, at the Principality Stadium, that's what it's called now. He went to an Arsenal game there. And the public transport was so messed up that before he even got to the game, 
his dad, because at this time he, he didn't drive, we were in school at the time, maybe college. His dad had to set off before my mate Rick had even got there to set off and go and pick him up. So by the time he got there, the game was finished, he could get in the car and come back. So that's what public transport is like, getting to Cardiff. By the time this show finishes, you're probably not going to get any transport back unless you live pretty close by. So if you live Manchester like me, London, don't bank on it. Check it, obviously, and things would have changed probably, but don't think they would have changed that much. You're probably going to have to get a hotel. I'm expecting to get a hotel for probably about three or four days here. Like I say, I want, I want to see NXT if they put it there. I want to see them do access. I want to see them do all kinds of good stuff there. Can you imagine if they do a Hall of Fame? I don't think they will, but can you imagine? What else have we got here? Oh, listen. I plan on vlogging every single bit of this. If you are, a, are you an American, like, loads of people always say to me that, like, they, they love my WrestleMania vlogs. They love seeing what it's like going to these events. Now I flip that around a little bit. All those American wrestling fans who want to know what it's like being in the UK. Who wants to know what it's going to be like going to this show and going to wrestling in the UK? I'm going to vlog this like I vlog my WrestleMania ones in tons of detail. And I'm much better editor now than I was years ago. And I was putting those videos out. So if you enjoy those, you're going to love this one and everything that I do. I'm going to be doing tons and tons of videos in the build up to it as well. All the hype videos, what I kind of expect, what I'm predicting. Speaking of my predictions. Let's get into just a couple here. I've mentioned the Drew McIntyre one. I've mentioned the British Wrestling one. I think we're going to get some celeb involvement here. I won't be surprised to see Tyson Fury. And between you and me, I won't be surprised to see KSI. Have you seen Logan Paul recently? Definitely wouldn't be surprised to see Logan Paul. Uh, Logan Paul. KSI pop over. But hey, I wouldn't be surprised to see Logan Paul do it either, to be honest with you. Maybe a blow-off match against The Miz after what happened at WrestleMania. Who knows? But yeah. I can't wait for this. This video is just an all-in-one. I've been a bit quiet because I think maybe next door they've got young kids. They might be sleeping. I don't want to talk about this for too long and keep them up. So I lowered my voice a little bit. I hope it comes across on the camera how buzzing I am for this. How emotional I am for this. This is going to be incredible. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button down below and ding that notification bell. That way, every time I make a video, you, yes, you, we're the first person who hears about it. So when I do these vlogs, when I do all the build-up videos, when I do all the hype about how excited a 33-year-old man is about wrestling coming to Wales, I need you to see it. Anyway, with that, I am out. Thank you very, very much for watching.